Hey everyone, I just got back from an estate sale. It was the 50% off day. Um, I didn't buy a lot, but I got a really cool haul. But I have to admit, this sale was a bit overwhelming. It wasn't far from the house, about 20 minutes away, but um, there was probably a warehouse two to three times the size of my garage. And it was just packed with toolboxes and tools. Uh, a good portion of it was Taiwan, China. But if you dug through, you found some, some deals. But it, it was just so overwhelming that uh, my wife went in the house and she bought a couple things and I was just like, hands off. She was like, yeah, it's too crowded. And I, I was literally fighting through the crowd to kind of see what was there. And also, I, don't really, um, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. But then I noticed there was a whole table right by the checkout that was old sockets, ratchets, everything. And everything was, everything on this table, $2, which meant it was a dollar. Well, so I stopped, I told my wife, hold on a second. And I dug through some bins and I found some really cool old ratchets. And then while I, since I figured, well, I'm now gonna buy something, I grabbed the toolbox that had a bunch of tools in it that was marked $30, which meant it was 15. And then I got a couple other little, little craftsman sets that were marked 20, so they were 10. So I spent 35, 45, about 50 to $60, I think, total. And uh, let's look at what I got, because I've, I've got some really interesting stuff. Okay, it doesn't look like much, but let's look what I've got. I grabbed this old craftsman breaker. This is a craftsman V with the double lines, and it was $1.50. It was marked $3, it was $1.50. Um, I got this Centec circuit tester test, brand new. Uh, this was marked eight dollars, so it was four. So we're at five fifty. These were twenty, I think. Yeah, these were twenty, so they were ten. But what I bought this one for, um, it was complete. But this ratchet is really interesting. Uh, this head, I've only ever seen this once, and uh, it's on a larger three eighths ratchet. And I honestly thought that it may have been like a repair or something because it's very similar to the Stanley made Craftsman ratchets. But uh, this is the only other one I've seen. I'm not sure if this is the correct ratchet for here because it doesn't fit great, but it fits. So that was a cool set. This is not metric, it's SAE. So that was $10. So we are at 10, 14, 15, 50. This was also $10. This is a gray set. I think these are from like the 80s or 90s. And um, this is a pretty st standard set. It's all metric. So I guess this was his companion to that set. Pretty standard ratchet. Um, USA VT44807. Um, I haven't checked to make sure that all these are the correct sockets. Like this, for one, I can tell you right now, that's not supposed to be in here. But I'm going to go through these. Uh, this is a much newer socket. It's a Craftsman USA, but you see uh, if you can see that engraving on it, that is a much newer set. I think that's the only one that has it. All right, so now we're up to 10, 20, 25, 50. All right, this box was marked $30 but I actually got it for 15 and it had a lot of stuff in it. But I also bought a bunch of ratchets for a dollar a piece. So first off, let's look at what was in this ratchet, this box. Oh, well, first off, this is the uh, highly sought after Easeco made, I believe, Craftsman ratchet. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I didn't even notice this. These are, oh, and here's the, here's one of the Stanley. This is the Stanley I was talking about. See that head? Um, so the other one I have is similar, but, so I don't know who made these. If anyone out there knows who the manufacturer of these was, and th this is really interesting. It's very small, very thin. Nice finish on it, though, but I've never seen one before. These, I've got a few of these. It's pretty rusty, but I've got a few. Uh, there's a, a Williams wrench. 
15 16 in here. Another Craftsman ratchet. This is also this. So, so these were a pair. I'll de rust these. It almost moves. All right. So, I'll de rust them and clean them up. And I've got a bunch of random sockets and extensions. I didn't really look at this too much. I basically just went, oh, it's $15. So I grabbed it. A couple of Craftsman punches. These, I believe, are all Craftsman USA sockets. So I'll find a home and donate most of these. Is that Craftsman? Yeah, that's Craftsman. Uh, all right. This was Mark 10, and I got it for 5 It's missing a lot of pieces, and it's quite rusty. But... I couldn't pass it up because I can de-rust these sockets. I'm sure I have enough to rebuild the rest of this set. And I really liked the box. I remember when I was a kid, somebody, oh, look at the original price is on here. Somebody paid $35 for it. It just sold for five missing sockets and rusty. But uh, I like the box and I have the pieces for it. So I'll be able to rebuild this set. All right. Um, Let's look at the ratchets I got for a dollar. All right. And yeah, they are, they're rusty. This is a true craft. Doesn't work. It was a dollar. I got a breaker bar, PNC, for a dollar. All right, this is a crescent. This is a nice ratchet. Look at how nice that works. That was a dollar. Um, this is cool. This is Industro. I'm trying to build an Industro set. It's clunky, but it does work. Uh, what else we got? This also looks to be an Industro. It's very rusty. It'll need to be cleaned up. It works, though. It's missing the cover. I restored one of these once. These are good ratchets. And I love the mechanic nature of it. You can actually see the gears working. It's kind of cool. Um, I got these because I know somebody that was fascinated by this Ampro 3 ace or half and, and 3 ace drive uh, ratchet that I had and wanted one. And it's actually a very good ratchet. And when I saw that one, I saw these other two. They're both in good shape. They've got great handles on them, and I'm sure he's going to be happy to get those. Uh, here's Oh, this has the cover on it. Okay, so this is basically this type of thing, but this one has the cover on it. And this is, this one says PNC. I, I guess they were like Craftsman stuff. A lot of people use the same, same designs. Um, a power wood bit extension was in the, this is, the rest of the stuff was all in this box. So I haven't really looked at it. I got a couple of crafts and wrenches, a five ace, a half inch tubing wrench. I'll put that aside because I've got tubing wrenches separated. Uh, 11 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, one and one sixteenths that's bent. Now the question is, did this bend or did someone bend this for a specific use? Uh, you know what, actually, I'm looking for, is that Craftsman? I was looking for a 13 16 wrench to complete a set. I'll put that aside. And we got a few more wrenches here. A Craftsman 5 Ace. And Craftsman 5 16 11 32s, and 5 16 again. That's all the wrenches. I got a... Speed wrench. It's Craftsman. Wow. That's old Craftsman. That's that's quite old. Uh, interesting, there's no handle on it, so I would guess that was not an expensive one. Uh, here's some sockets. These are also Craftsman. Uh, these three are Craftsman. That's Craftsman. These are metrics. This is an interesting one. I've never seen this type of Craftsman before. Um, this has the rib. So the metrics usually have ribs down at the bottom. 
if you can see that. How do you get it in focus? This has ribs up at the top. So is it metric? It is. It is a 24 millimeter craftsman metric. Interesting. Um, that's craftsman. 5A steep. That is, it looks like durochrome. Nope, just says chrome vanadium. So this guy is probably foreign. Unless someone recognizes it. And I got one impact socket. That's got a weird font on it. Can you see that? 13 sixteenths. No brand on it. Okay. And that's basically it. I got a couple screwdrivers. Two Craftsman's, Phillips, Flathead, this, they're both very rusty. Uh, these look like Vermont Americans, but I'm not sure who they're made of. Oh, they're Craftsman, Craftsman Red. Hmm. I don't have many of these. I've seen them before. They're, they're actually a much deeper red. These are quite cooked. They're, they've been faded. I got a pair of pliers, needle nose, pretty much rusted. A hose clamp and a Vermont American screw extractor. Sometimes these work. You've seen me use them before. They're hit or miss. But anyway, so that's not bad. Um, so how many spare wrenches did I get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten spare wrenches. So what was my total? Ten, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-nine, thirty. 40, 50, wait, 40, 40 dollars and 50 cents. And then this was 15 bucks. So yeah, 55 dollars and 50 cents plus tax, it was about 60 bucks. So not a bad haul. Um, I'm gonna clean this stuff up. Not these Ampros. These are all in remarkably good condition. I don't really like this. I don't like this. It's, I like the, I prefer the lever. Nice handles on them though. But uh, the rest of this could use some de-rusting and uh, some work. All right, I got my two sets out that I'm still looking for pieces for. Here's my tubing wrench, which I'll keep. So I've got two 13, uh, I've got an 11 sixteenths, which I have. And here's my 13 sixteenths, right? But I noticed something, as much as this looks like it fits in this set, Look at this, it's made in Japan. Um, chrome, Molly, I don't know what that word is, M-O-L-Y-B-D-E. That's a really weird word, is that what this says? Yeah, Molly Bedenum. I don't know what that word is, Molly, Molly Denim? I guess Molly Denim, I don't know what that is. But these are both made in Japan. Funny. So my search continues for that. I didn't find any of these metric ones. But, uh, you know, the search continues. Well, it took no time at all for me to find all the pieces to complete this set. And now all that's left is for me to de-rust all of this. Because some of these are bad. And then I'll polish them up a little bit and we'll have a complete set. See how that goes.
I did find a couple other things to put in there. But that should be good for those guys. So very soon it'll start bubbling and it'll clean up those ratchets. Hey everyone, just a brief interruption here. If you're enjoying this content and you'd like to support my channel, and especially if you like cats, I've written a series of chapter books for ages eight and up, fully illustrated, called Flea Biscuit and Friends. The first book in the series is Flea Biscuit Finds a Home, followed by Flea Biscuit Summer Vacation, and finally, Flea Biscuit's Magic Christmas. They're available at all local booksellers, as well as on Amazon.com. I will post a link in the video description. And hey, that's my pitch. Back to the video. Here's the mix after an hour. So it's bubbling. You can see some of the red rust is already turning black. Let's look, it's been about 24 hours. I think for the most part, these are done. Oh yeah, looks a lot cleaner. So all you gotta do, I know it seems odd that you take them out of de-rusting and then soak them, but you do have to wash this off. Let's see if I can get a better angle. So it's not completely in the way. So I'm just gonna take the tools out of the solution. But these were pretty rusty. Look at how nice that looks. And rinse them. And let's just put them up here. This one's a little bit rougher. This is the one that didn't work. Oh, it works now. Um, this is not a USA. And it doesn't work. But it's not rusty now, so we'll see if we can get it to work. This old craftsman. That's a V, right? Yep. VT4418, that works. Looks nice, actually. Cleaned up really well. Um, this is Industro. Oh, you can read Industro off of it now. You couldn't before. Industro Select 6470. This is the oddball. You gotta flip this. It's missing the cover that goes over this, but these are cool. I have one of these. I use it because I just like looking at it work while I'm doing a project. All right, this, these are cool. This is the Craftsman um, Easco ratchet. This one. Yep. This is a very high tooth count, which is why these are sought after. And of course, you oil these things up after they dry. Alright, we got a bunch of screwdrivers. That's they look good. them dry out. My drill chuck is ready to go. Oh, the drill chuck key. I gotta find one, that's right. I gotta find a small one for that um, high power drill. I've got a bunch of drill bits here um, that, that were not from the toolbox hall. But I throw these in here anyway because these things always get rusted and destroyed. This brings them back. Oh, I put a lot of them in here. That's it. I don't know. So a couple more. Those dry out. All right, so we've got the sockets that go in that vintage Craftsman socket set. Which you'll note, I got most of the rust out of the box. Not all, but most of it. All right. oh. um, yeah, 
I'm not going to lay these in there till they're dry. So I'm going to use this other lid for the sockets. pretty bad and uh, this did a good job you could polish these after this as well I don't know how that wire knot got in there all right let's let those dry off now put the ratchet that came with that set with them all right, so you know, it's dry and we'll be ready to go. So what I'm gonna do with the solution, I'm not gonna pour it back in the bottle yet. I'm gonna take this box that was that had the high power drill in it, and I'm going to um, start by de-rusting that. All right. We're all dried out. I like how everything's marked. Makes it a bit easier to put them back in. realize that one's not right this is actually a metric seven millimeter I gotta find a five sixteenths It's also not right. We've got two nine six. No, I guess we do have two nine sixteenths. We got a quarter, and we've got that guy. We got hmm. half. Sixteenths. All right, so I need a quarter inch, five sixteenths. See if I've got that. I had one, set's complete. Just put a little oil in this guy.
right, let's look at the other ratchets. Don't oil these guys back up. Is that water? There's water still coming out of this guy. I don't kind of water oil him up yet. He's dry. That guy's obviously dry. This this one, really easy to oil this guy up. All right. Still watering that guy. Thanks too. Alright, oil this guy up pretty easy. You don't have to take these apart to oil them, the oil will sink right in. Pretty wide gaps. You guys are done. Just let the oil run through it. That'll get rid of the water. And we'll do the same with this guy. Because I don't like the idea of this thing sitting overnight with uh, water still in it. set is now complete. Let's get this. Uh, hopefully it won't take any of the original label off of it. We'll leave that original price tag sticker on there. That's awesome. That was a great deal. These guys, we're going to let them sit. And this is the one that's stuck. So um, I'm gonna oil it and let it sit. Never know. Maybe it'll just break it free. It's a similar design, honestly, to that. I wonder if it's as many teeth. Um, without it moving, it's a little harder to get the oil. It, it does move. Oh boy, yeah, I don't think this guy's going to get back to work anytime soon. That is not good. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Let me just put it away for now. All 
All right, so that's all the final parts of this toolbox haul. Got all the parts uh, oiled up, they're cleaned up, everything's put away. Was able to complete that uh, socket set in the box and get all the parts de-rusted. I had all the pieces I needed, so hey, all you gotta do is look at estatesales.net, Facebook Marketplace, and, and find these uh, estate sales. And you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. This sale was a bit overwhelming, but I did manage to get some pretty neat stuff out of it. So hey, you can do it. All you've gotta do is go out, get busy. Take care.